Libya is not worth an ounce of British blood. The truth about the matter is, and I was astonished about what you said there, I wrote it down here. You said, we have to act against a dictator killing its own people. That dictator, by the way, we gave them, we sold 40 million quids worth of military vehicles to them in the 90s. Right? We will end up bombing the very stuff we flogged to them. But much more important than that, when, they, when that same dictator, who you say was killing its own people, when they killed our people, when they blew up in Lockerbie, why didn't we go into Libya then? We had much more right to do that then. <laughs> and the other... I, I detest our governments for keep getting involved in wars which have nothing to do with us. This is a revolution. Two sides battling it out. I wish the rebels every success. I believe that in the end they will win. But we don't need to go in ourselves. And tell me this, tell me this, Baroness. What is going to happen in Saudi Arabia? They are shooting their own people. They have banned martyrs. Are we going to war in Saudi Arabia? Are we going to war in the Yemen? Are we going to war in Bahrain? This is the same government that is actually turning our army down, scrapping our Ark Royal, doing this, doing that, and at the same time... At the same time, your government... Your government is wading in anywhere in the world. It's a disgrace, and I, okay. I think Cameron has I gone mad. I am so, so disappointed in that rant. You do not understand oh, what here is we at go. stake You do not understand. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's Hold on a minute, Kelvin. Let you me don't explain. don't understand, let me explain. Eh, Baroness. You're talking to somebody who actually marched on the streets against the war in Iraq because I had concerns Shame about the legality of it. Shame on you for backing this one, then. But this, if anybody recalls what happened in the Balkans, if anybody recalls why we stood back and there was a genocide that happened in Srebrenica, I attended Srebrenica last year. I attended the memorial where women, years and years later were still burying their dead as those bodies were being found in mass graves. And I stood there and I said, we must never, ever allow this to happen again. This is a moment for the international community to stand up and stand up for what is right. Okay.